Hi, this is Melissa from Ginger Gray Soap Company. Today I'm going to teach you just how easy it is to make your own all-natural soap from scratch by the hot process method using simple oils such as olive oil, palm oil, coconut oil, and shea butter. Okay, today I'm going to show you how to use what's called a lye calculator and that will help to check any recipes that you have or if you want to make up your own recipe with your own oils that you want to use and you want to find out uh, if you've got good amounts in it you can uh, check that out and also find out how much lye and water you need for it to turn into soap. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and we're going to click on the uh, lye calculator up at the top of the screen and then if we go down um, we can go and choose whether we want to use um, sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide and you want to make sure you use sodium hydroxide because otherwise you will make liquid soap and I that was my first uh, disaster I did when I was making soap I chose the wrong kind of lye so make sure you have the right kind of lye of course when you're ordering and you can also choose whether you want to use ounces or pounds so I'm going to show you how to do we're going to do ounces and you can change uh, the water percentage if you want to if you want to make um, it have less water in your finished product but I would not do that um, as a beginner and you can also change your super fat and you want to probably leave it at five percent so then you can go down here and you can look at um, you can click on different oils like almond oil here and it will show you the different properties like the hardness the cleansing condition um, bubbly creamy all these different types of things each oil uh, will have different properties and so you want to make sure that you get a balanced soap so you don't want to just willy-nilly pick things um, so I'm gonna go and use a recipe that's in a book that I have and it calls for three and a half ounces of coconut oil so we're gonna we'll just pick the 76 degree that's pretty popular and we'll click on this plus sign over here and we're going to do ounces you can also do as a percentage of the recipe if you want to do that but we're gonna put in three and a half ounces okay and then it calls for eight ounces of olive oil so we're gonna go down here and find olive oil um, we can just click on this or pomace that's a lower grade of olive oil but we'll just click on that and uh, we're gonna put in it says eight ounces okay and then it's got one more uh, oil it says for three and a half oops three and a half ounces of lard so we're gonna go find lard mm -hmm. there we go and we're gonna add three and a half ounces of lard okay and then when we're done putting in all our different oils you can put lots of different oils or even just one if it's a Castile soap if you want to do that then you click here on the bottom where it says calculate recipe so we're going to click on that and then we're going to click view or print recipe okay so now we are looking at the next page for you can print the recipe you can go up here and type the name of your recipe if you want especially if you've made it up yourself and you can go over here and see that it tells you you need 5.7 ounces of water and you want to use distilled water um, the lye, the uh, sodium hydroxide, it says you need uh, 2.108 ounces. Now the recipe in my book said that you need 5 ounces of distilled water and 2 ounces of lye, so that looks pretty accurate. So that's, you always want to double check your recipes, make sure that uh, nothing is off. And so uh, it'll tell you how much your soap will make, it says it makes 15 ounces. So when you're calculating up how much you need to fill a mold, you want to take that into account. And, um, and so it says right over here, your soap, um, your finished soap, you want to go and check some of the different properties because some oils um, won't, make a very <clears throat> won't make a very hard bar of soap. Um, and some will make it, you know, really hard, but then you won't have some of the other properties you want. So this one has a 37 for the hardness, so it's, it's in the suggested range. Cleansing, it's um, in the suggested range as well. And so it's actually... A pretty balanced um, soap recipe but depending on what you're looking for in your recipe you may want to tweak that 
Um, I personally like to have a nice hard bar that's cleansing, not too cleansing of course because then it can be drying on your skin. It's got a nice conditioning bubbly lather and then I like to add at the end for me um, shea butter which does not go into uh, and it doesn't get mixed in with the active lye so it's not saponified and it doesn't go through anything so it's it's got a really high super fat um, because this automatically defaults to a five percent super fat um, and so when I add in the extra oils at the end it's even uh, it's gonna be even more than that so you just want to always um, check your stuff through the uh, lye calculator there's other ones out there besides this one but this is the one that I like to use so I hope you enjoyed it